Deploying an internal certificate authority means our organization serves as the authority that signs their certificates. This offers more security than self-sign without using a public authority, which normally provides the highest level of security, but usually requires a company-wide process to be in place. We create the certificate authority in the form of a root certificate, which we deploy to the components. Then we create the server certificate for AE, which gets signed by the CA. This is the procedure, and we outline the OpenSSL commands next. First, we generate the root certificate, which serves as the CA and signs the endpoint certificates. The root certificate needs a private key. Each time the root certificate signs a certificate, it needs a certificate signing request, or CSR. We create a private key for the AE server, and we'll refer to this key as the CSR key. We use the CSR to generate the server certificate, which needs to contain references to the hosts that are potential endpoints for the JCP. In the case of multiple network cards or distributed JCPs across multiple hosts, we build a subject alternative name or SAN configuration file. This file is required for the generation of the CSR. Once the file exists, we generate the CSR. Finally, we create the server certificate. This is based on the CSR and signed by the CA. We convert the server certificate to a PKCS12 format key store. We make the root certificate available to every component. The rest of the procedure is the same as self-signed, but the root certificate is used in place of the server certificate. Update ucsrv.ini, update agent ini, and uc4config.xml. You can also import the root certificate into the Java CA certs or the Windows or Unix OS stores. This removes the need to configure the trusted cert folder in the agent INI or uc4config.xml. You should install OpenSSL and create two environment variables for OpenSSL.cnf and the OpenSSL bin directory. These are the SSL commands to execute the procedure. First, we generate the root certificate private key with the recommended settings. Then we create the root certificate. We create the private key for the CSR. We create the SAN configuration file. We create the CSR using the CSR key in the SAN configuration file. We use the CSR, the root certificate, and configuration file to generate the server certificate. Finally, we convert the server certificate to the PKCS12 format, which generates a key store file. All our files will be created in the search directory. Let's check the environments. We create the private key. We're prompted for a password. We create the root certificate. We're prompted for the private key passwords. The root certificate requires many inputs, country, city, state, and so on. We're going to bypass for the sake of the demo, but you normally wouldn't, especially in structured environments. The common name is required. Use the A host name. We create a private key for the certificate signing request. We've created the SAN configuration file. Let's open it. You have to copy the common name in the subject alternative name list because the CN is ignored when the SAN names are present. The common name must match the name used by the agents to connect to AE. We create the CSR, we reference the SAN configuration file using the dash config option. We create the server certificate using all the elements we've created up to this point, root certificate and key, 
the configuration file, and the CSR. Finally, we convert our server certificate to the PKCS12 formats. This is a key store and you can reference it in UCSRV.ini. Then we move the root certificate to the various TLS components like AWI and the agents and make the appropriate references in the configuration files.